What we're going to do today, we're going to go into some critical thinking. I personally consider critical thinking as one of the main things that an individual needs to do with their students, their scholars, their children. So it is good to, to have the, the mathematical skills of division and subtraction, addition, and, and what's the other stuff, multiplication and all of that. But when it comes to critical thinking, being able to solve problems, that is very important. That carries you through life in general, critical thinking. So it's good that you can divide. But then when you don't know when to divide, that could be a problem. So I may be able to figure out something and say, hey, to get the answer, we may need to divide this. And then you may be the division specialist that you're well-versed in long division or multiplication, multi-digit multiplication, but whatever the case is, critical thinking is important. So today, we're going to do some critical thinking exercise is here. In fact, we're going to do a critical thinking exercise. Honorable Prince Alamasi, could you just read this uh, problem for us? They call it problems, but we ain't got a problem. Do you have any problems? Oh. But read it for us. There are five students in Mr. Parker's art class. He would like to give each of his students six stickers to use in a project they are doing. Mr. Parker looked in his desk drawer and found that he had two blue stickers, three times as many red stickers as blue stickers, and four more green stickers than red ones. Does Mr. Parker have enough stickers for everyone? If not, how, how many more stickers does Mr. Parker need? Imagine that Mr. Parker had 40 stickers all together. How many stickers would each student be able to get? Better? All right, so just for clarity, he has five students in his class and he wants all of them to get six stickers each. And he's explaining what he has in his draw, two of the, the blue, three times as much red as the blue, and four more um, um, than the red does he have of the green. Four more green stickers than the red ones. Okay, so we, we kind of have an idea of how much he wants, but we only kind of have. And we kind of have an idea of how much he has, but we need pre uh, precise answers. So I think the first thing we need to do is to figure out how much he needs. What would we do there? Well, we all know that there are five students in this art class, mm -hmm. and he wants to give them six tickets each. So, first, you have to multiply six by five. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let them, hold on. You're moving very fast there. So, we have five students in the class. Yes. Okay. All right. And um, he wants to give them six stickers each. Let me get it. Okay, so he's going to give them six stickers each. All right. Um, well, that's not the best drawing, but you don't know. All right, so you're saying no, explain. Five times six equals 30. Okay, so this means he that... Needs, this means that he needs 30 stickers. He needs 30 stickers. All right. All right, so let, 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 let us get this straight. So he has... Um, um, how many blue stickers he has? Two. two. So he has two blue stickers. Oh, that's a two? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people write like that. Yeah, let's, let's get rid let's of that. Let's get professional. Uh, yeah, better two here. Okay. So he has, in fact, um, mm, what I can do here, yeah. So he has, oh, yes, he has, oh. Uh, all right, so he has two blue stickers. Yep. And then he has um, three red stickers? No, three. three times as many red stickers as blue stickers. Oh, so he has three times as many red stickers as blue stickers. So, so 
How many red stickers does he have? Well, to find out that, you have to multiply two by three. Oh, so it's two, uh, two stickers multiply by three. All right. Which gives us six. That will give us six. So he has six red sticks. So okay, so we, we so let's follow that now. So he has six red stickers. All right. So he has two blue, six red. Yes. Uh huh. Remember the keyword times. Yes. Okay, six times. So okay, so so it's not two plus three. Mm -mm. Is two multiplied by three, which gives us the red. Okay, but he has some green ones too, eh? Let's just Four see. more times as, as the red. Yeah. So he has four more green stickers as the red. So that means. So it's six. There's six red. Yes. And he has four more green. Yes. So it's six multiplied by four. Those six plus four. You sure? But we just multiplied here. Oh, but that was three times as much yes. but now he has four more wow more is a key word in addition wow this is some hard hard stuff here <laughs> when we need more we mean we have to add okay so it's, it's it's six so the six red and now we're going to add it uh plus where is the plus button on this thing here so six plus uh four yes equals 20 uh, 20 how much? Six. Six plus four equals ten. It's ten. All right. So there are two blue, six red, and ten green stickers. Okay. So that means in all now, we're going to have to add. We have to add. Two plus six plus ten. Two plus six plus ten. ten. And that is equal uh -oh, to 18. Yes. All so right. He has 18 stickers in all. Oh. But does he have enough? Well, I don't think so because he wants to give his students six each. Yes, and, and that will bring us to um um 30. Number two doesn't have 30. He has, he has 18. He has 18. So, this is very interesting. So we have to figure out now how many more stickers does he need? Okay. So for us to figure out how many more stickers that, that uh, does he need, uh, how are we going to figure that out? Well, you can figure it out in two ways. Okay. First way, Give me one way. First way, you can start from 18, then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 and then reach until you get 12 and then count how many fingers and then you have 12. The easiest so you have 12 plus 8. 18. Is 30. Yes. Okay. But I think what you're doing there back way. Yeah, kind of back way. Is subtracting yeah, 18 from 30. What were you going to say, Princess? The that is the easiest way. Uh -huh. Let's do some subtraction here. So 8 from 0 is how many? About 55? What? Can't uh, happen. Well, you can't take away 8 from 0. So, so you have to cross out the 3, put the 2 on top because you take 110, and then you put that one next to the 0. So now you have 10. So 10 eight. from 8 equals 2. So 10 from 8 equals 2. Now, okay. now you are... And 1 from 2 is 1. Yeah. So we have 12. <laughs> so he needs 12 more stickers to make 30 for his students. Okay, the question also asks if he had 40 stickers. If he had 40 stickers, you know, um uh, I'm not I'm not writing like four and everything the best. If he had 40 stickers, uh, listen, I know it's not pretty, but that's what it is for the moment. But if he had 40 stickers, how many would his five students get? each well to find that out we have to divide 40 by 5 which equals 8 40 by 5 so 40 um divide. divided by 5 um, okay you can use that 
Oh, this is okay, okay, right, right, right. The vision signs look like that sometimes. It almost look like a fraction there. Yeah. Uh, and that will equal to eight. So in other words, each student would get eight stickers if he had, or she had forty. Or if Mr. Parker had forty, 40 stickers. Perfect. That's one. Give that, Celestia. Yeah, yeah, so far. Right. That's it.